He came to the United States in 2002 from a country, and he said, I got to get to America. The America's lined with opportunity. I don't know if he's in Florida today. I don't know where place he's at today. Without further ado, the great, the one and only, the incomparable Mr. Shaquille Cooper, regional vice president. <laughs> Thank you. I am excited to be back on the call. I've been busy, 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 but it's always great to be on the call with you guys. I miss you guys, um, and I'm excited to be back. Today, we're just going to have a conversation. Um, I didn't really want to create a presentation. I just wanted to have a real conversation, especially the time of the year that we're in. We're about three weeks away from the new year, and I know a lot of people are waiting until January 1st, 2000, what is it, 2023. To get started, it's crazy. The reason why I froze it because I got started in ACN 2013. So it was like, oh man, it's almost 10 years since I got involved in this business. But what I want to tell you guys is that you got to plan your goals now. So a lot of people, what they're doing right now is that they're waiting until January 1st in order to go out there and write down their goals and to start their goals. Instead, you should be starting your goals right now. So if you're taking notes, I want you to write down, start now at the top. Just put start now. And the reason why I want to tell you to put start now, because instead of just sitting around waiting for things to happen, just start now. And that has been one of the secrets to my success is just why most people are trying to figure out, man, why this wouldn't work or this, it can't work this way. I always try to figure out how can it work? That's why no matter what I do, I become great at it because I'm always trying to figure out how can I get better? And the only way to get better is just by doing it. Not hoping about it, but just actually going out there and just doing it. So what I love most about being involved in this business is just, it taught me to just do it. Instead of just sitting around saying, hey, am I going to talk to that person? Just go talk to the person. One of the things that I love so much about being involved in MLM, network marketing, especially ACN, is that it taught me how to just talk to people. But one of the things that I learned so much being in this business about talking to people is that any business that you do, if you're not great at dealing with people, you're really not going to have a lot of success. I don't care what you're selling. If you don't get great at dealing with people, you will never have massive success in any business that you do. And the way that you get good is by doing what? Starting right now. So whatever goals you have, I don't care if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to add on more weight, you're trying to get your business to the next level. I don't care what you have going on right now that you want to do. You got to start now. You cannot sit around and wait and hope that things will fall into your lap because I promise you, it won't. It's all I've been grinding for over a decade, like nonstop. You know, I don't know what a vacation is. So when I talk to people and I tell people, hey, I've been doing this consistently for over a decade. The only way that you get to this point is just by keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and never becoming satisfied where you are. So for me, I'm never satisfied. Yes, I'm happy when I accomplish things, but I'm never satisfied. I always want to get better and better and better and better and better. And I push myself every single day to just get better. I, like I told you guys before, I hated going to the gym. I force myself to go to the gym so much now that when I don't go to the gym, I don't feel like I've really done anything for the day. So you got to start changing the things that you don't like and just do it. And the more that you do it, the better you'll become. And the better you'll become, I promise you, the results is going to make you want to just keep going and going and going and going and going. And that's with every type of success that you're going to accomplish in life, even being a parent. Being a parent might be hard, but guess what? If you just do it and try to get better at it every single day, day, I promise you it's going to be one of the best feelings that you ever have in this world. So for me, I just believe in just doing it right now, just starting right now and not waiting on things to just happen. And with Mr. Thomas, I love his success story because even though he's had a lot of success in the business so far, the best part about it is he is not satisfied where he's at. He's still putting in the work. He's still grinding. So if you're on his car right now and you're not where you need to be, you just got to keep going. And it's going to be hard because guess what? Doing the same thing every single day is hard. Eating the same food every single day is hard. Think about it right this, right? Let me give you a quick quick example, right? Who in here know about a show of hands, person wants to drink water every day, right? Who in here know that there's days where you just don't drink water? So even though it's as simple and as easy and you need to do it, the average person 
they can't do the simple things over and over and over and over. So that's why you have to do it over a long period of time and it becomes a habit. Again, just become the person that people want to be around. That's another key to success. Become the person that people want to be around and people want to learn from that. You are basically a magnet. When you walk into the room, everybody gravitates to you. You want to have that aura. When you're in the building, you become the building. And the reason why you want to do that, because you got to understand that once you become that valuable person, everything that you do will just come to you. No matter what you say that you want to do, you can go into any industry. You can do anything. And no matter what, because you're valuable, people are going to do it. Think about it like this, right? Celebrities. Why do most big brands always try to sign celebrities? Because why? They know the value that that person brings to their company. For example, I was listening to this um, motivational video, and it was saying, like, Lady Gaga, she's, like, she's a pop artist, right? But she's, like, the creative director for, like, hold that camera. But when you think about it, what in the world does she know anything about cameras? But because that company knew that by attaching themselves to someone as big as her, more clients now that probably didn't pay attention to them before is paying attention to them now. So again, you want to become a valuable person. And like Mr. Jim Rohn said, you get paid for the value that you bring to the marketplace. It's all about the value that you bring. How valuable are you to the marketplace? Ask yourself this question every single day. How valuable? Because most people, they rather get paid by the hour. I rather get paid for my value. If you're taking notes, the average person rather gets paid by the hour, but I rather get paid for my value because there's only 24 hours in a day. But my value is out of this world. There's some people that charge $100,000 just to speak for 30 minutes. And there's some people that speak for 30 minutes for free. See, I want to start to get paid just for my value. So again, everything I'm talking about today is going to help you in all areas of life, especially business, because what I understand is how you do one thing is how you do everything. And once I figured that out, I stopped complicating myself and trying to make this business more complicated than it is. We just talk to people. It's a numbers game. Run through the numbers. How do you run through the numbers by becoming a valuable person that people want to be like, people want to learn from, people just want to partner up with you. Once you become that person, you're not going to feel as though that you have to go out there and chase people and convince them to do what you do. Because I'm at a point in my life where people always hit me up trying to do business with me. Always. Why? Because I've showed them the value that I've grown for over a decade now. They saw that, man, this guy, even though he has success, He's still at it. He's still at it. He's still going. He's still grinding. The average person, once they get a little bit of success, they start to slow down. And then before you know it, they give up. Listen, I just keep going. I just keep working on getting better and better every single day. Why? Because that's the ultimate goal is to get better than yesterday. As long as you're better than the day before, you're on the right path. But you got to go out there and just make changes happen. Because in order for things to change, I'm telling you, you have to change. And as as funny as that sounds, because we hear it so much, it's the absolute truth. Once I started making positive changes in my life, like everything about my life changed. And I'm not here to tell people how to live their life, but when you have a healthy lifestyle, you also have a healthy business. A lot of people are saying, man, my business is not grown, but are you growing? Are you working on yourself? Are you eating your fruits and veggies? Are you drinking your water? Are you working out every single day? Are you doing those little things? Because I can tell you right now that your health is, is a direct reflection of your business. Because if you're tired, you're lazy, you just went out the night before, you're drinking beers, and you know, you're just living your life. You're not going to have the energy that it takes to become a real entrepreneur at a high level. Yes, you can make some money, but what's the point of doing it if you're not going to do it big? So that's why I just make changes that it affects me in the long run in a positive way because at the end of the day if you're not making positive changes then you're just the same person you was 5 10 15 20 years ago the ultimate goal is to become someone new someone better every single day you just got to grow you just got to want more you got to want to become more you can't be satisfied where you're at in life because if you're satisfied and you're comfortable i promise you you're going to be stuck exactly where you are 5 10 years from now and what's the point of living life if you're not going to experience more, you're not going to see more, you're not going to have more, you're not going to be able to do more. 
So for me, I have these big goals and these big visions that requires me to do the work every single day. I have to do the work every single day because I just can't sit around and just hope that things will change if I'm not making those changes. That's really insanity when you think about it. So many people want their life to go to the next level, but they're not willing to invest any money into themselves. They're not even willing to do the things that's free, which is what make a decision to do something different. Just doing something different. As simple as that is doing something different. If you can't do the things that's free, how do you expect to really invest time, money, and energy into the things that you really want to become? So I'm just excited today. This is going to be a good month. And I just kind of want to just start off the call today with just having a conversation with you guys about the new year that's coming up. And if you're not doing the things that you said you want to do starting January 1st right now, then I can tell you that guess what? You're already behind. You are already behind. I started months ago. I'm not waiting until a day to make things change because when the rest of the world is waiting till first to make these changes happen, I'm 60 days ahead of them. I'm 90 days ahead of them. I already started my goal. You got to be ahead of the game. You got to be ahead of the game. And that's what's going to separate you from everybody else. Because at the end of the day, what makes you stand out compared to everybody else in the industry? What makes you special? See, what makes me special is that I'm willing to outwork everybody. You might have more money than me. You might just everything better than me. But I promise you, I will out hustle you. I will. And the reason I know I will, because guess what? I'm willing to get up every single day and do whatever it takes. Do whatever. It don't matter what I'm going through. I just keep going. I'm one of those people that they just said, he just never stops. If you put something in front of me, I'm going to go over it. I'm not going to sit there and complain about why it's there and how it got there and a whole bunch of things that, no, how can I get around this so I can get to where I'm going? Because at the end of the day, I'm laser focused. I got goals that need to be accomplished. And no matter what gets in the way, I'm going to get over it sooner or later. It doesn't matter when, it doesn't matter how. I believe so much in myself that I can get over whatever gets in my way and going to get to where exactly I want to be in life. Not where my mom want me to be, not what my spouse want me to be, not what my kids want me to be, what I want to be. Because at the end of the day, you got to live life for you. You got to start doing things that make you happy. Because if you're not happy with what you're doing, what are you really doing it for? What are you really doing it for? You got to love what you do. So if you don't love what you do right now, stop doing it. But if you love what you do, do it with your heart. And once you start to do it with your heart, and once you start to really care about helping people, I'm telling you, it's easy. The business is easy because at the end of the day, we get paid for helping people. That's it. Helping people get to wherever they're trying to go. If you can get good at doing that, you're going to get everything that you want in life. It's literally, it works just like that. And you hear it a thousand times. You hear it hundreds of times, but guess what? It's the reason why you hear it over and over because it is that simple. It is that simple. Just get in the habit of just wanting to help people. Just wanting to get people to a better place. When you meet someone, in the next 30 days, 60 days, they should be a better person because they met you. And that's how you should think. Everyone that comes in contact with you should leave better than they've been met you. Because if you start having that mindset, I promise you, everything you're trying to do is just going to become, it's like a weight lifted over your shoulder. And once that light bulb moment went off for me, that's why I can have these conversations and tell people that, man, it's really simple. It's not hard. You only make it hard by saying that it's hard. Because whatever you think something is, it would have become. I just believe that I can do anything. Even if I might not to do it, I'm never going to say I can't do anything. I'm always going to say that I can. So this month is going to be an amazing, it's going to be an amazing month, especially going into the new year. Uh, I have amazing things to talk about with you guys, but, you know, I don't mind opening up the call just to have a quick Q&A and, you know, to see where some of you guys head is at and just get ready to go into the new year. You know, I'm just excited, honestly. I'm, I don't know. I'm like a ball of fire right now. So I'm excited, but I do want to pass the call back to Mr. Thomas. Please open the call up and we can just have a quick conversation and just prep everyone for what we're about to have this month with these calls every Wednesday. Does anybody have any questions for Mr. Cooper before we caught the call today? Yeah, like he said, if you're not where you want to be, you got to go look in the mirror. 
Yeah, hi, Mr. Thomas. It's Christine Blitz. How are you? Hey, dear. How are you doing? Fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. I'm forever grateful for you and uh, Jabri. I do have a question for uh, Regional Vice President Platinum, Mr. Shaquille Cooper. How are you? We have our next Emerge event, January 21st in Cerritos, California, which is in my backyard. What would you recommend the best way that we can capitalize on that? Thank you. The best way to capitalize that is get, get a flyer ready. Just like when I travel to different cities, I always like the leaders to have a flyer ready for me a week or two in advance to start giving people a flyer because people don't remember. Can you, you, everybody hear me okay? People don't remember. You know, as a leader, I always have a flyer. I always have a flyer a month ahead of time. I'm giving the flyers out to get my team flyers and get this out, get this out and invite people, invite people. The average person don't think past tomorrow. You ask them what they're doing next week, they're oh, okay, but they don't think. I want to give them a flyer in their hand so they have something to follow up on and keep it in their remembrance. Not only that, before, a week before, I want to uh, go back and make sure everybody understands. Hey, it's coming in a week. Hey, it's coming in four days. You got to keep reminding people. That is the best best way of all. I used to give out these tickets, like, like, like a concert ticket, to people when I traveled. And here again, it goes back to the leadership. You got to get out the, the word out what's coming, what's coming. It's like a concert. It's the same thing. You got to be able to prepare for that and do the same thing they would do if you're a promoter. Remember, if you're a promoter. Does anybody else have anything else they want to share today before you cut the call? Mr. Thomas. Got my, yes, sir. Uh, what video do you send out? The little two-minute clip? I sent out the Duke Tony Cooper's two-minute clip, three-minute clip, anything for Tony Cooper's. You know, the whole idea, get something for them to look at. The guy this morning, he was crying. He, this guy was crying at, at 5 o'clock in the morning, crying, rolling down his tears. I mean, he says, man, I've been, you know, hey, you know what? You and I have the antidote for people. Before 9 o'clock this morning, Pacific Coast time, I already had my three leads. I'm leading by example. Folks, I'm trying to tell you, people are looking like never before. Mark my words this year, because they're going to let people go, thousands and thousands of people by December. January is going to be a new world out here. I'm telling you, guys, you got to set yourself up for success. There are people going to be looking for you, and you might be the ones getting laid off. Count it a blessing. But if we, have, we have what people need right now. Man, this holiday season. Do you know the holiday season is low? People are not shopping. People have the money. People have the time. People have the whereabouts all. But you and I can have it all and then some. I mean, wow. Wow. What if we really got after it like we said we're going to get after it? Like Shaquille Cooper said. That's what I love about this young man. He does have no, he's got, he's got no quit in him. Some of us are home, right by the fireplace, drinking cocoa, wishing and praying our business grows when we're not doing anything to put it together. Let's do more of it, folks. But the key is how many are you sending out on a daily basis? How many names are you getting on a daily basis? Shaquille Cooper was amazing this morning. Amazing. Amazing this morning. That's why I love that young man. I mean, look at his age. Look where he's at. Look what he's done. Look where he's going. Look where he came from. Like Emily Raman, it just blows my mind. Change your life. Change somebody's life. But go do something, Mr. Cooper. Fire it up, Jack. Listen, I'm fired I'm up. excited. And kind of just, broke people around. A light bulb again just went out like last night, for example. Like what I've been doing recently with my son is we just go in the rich community and just see all of the houses just light up. And I just tell them, we're gonna be living here soon. Like you gotta hang with the rich people at. You gotta hang with the people that have what you want at, and it's easy to run into them. And instead of hanging with your close friends all the time, just go to where the richest places you live at and just go sit down, get some water. Just network, talk to people, meet people. But if you're not talking to people, listen, good luck in, in any business, not just this business, but stop being scared to talk to people. And the only reason why most people are scared to talk to people is because they don't have nothing to talk about.